Hi everybody, this is a Carmelita with 401 pound weight loss journey. And I am coming in with to say hello today. I'm out and about, still on vacation, don't go back to work to the 23rd. And I just wanted to touch bases with everybody and see how everyone's doing and let you know I'm still going strong. I'm not overeating, I'm sticking to to the plan I'm gonna strict uh, get uh, better and better at it as I go however there are some things that I wanted to discuss with you all today and what that is it's about life everyday life last year I kind of fell off a lot because you know I had a lot going on I have a sister who's a breast cancer survivor I'm going to say survivor. She's still alive. She's doing good. Um, and she had to have a mastectomy. And I went with her to her chemo treatments and everything uh, while she was going through it. On days I could take off, I would take off and go with her. I went to quite a few of them with her and sat with her and a lot of the other ladies and gentlemen who was going through chemo. And that was something. I'm telling you, cancer is something. So... I'm saying all this to say, a week ago I lost a dear friend of mine to cancer. And she had blood cancer. She retired like four years ago. She's the reason I'm in the position I'm in now at work. Uh, I was just a, I'm just a high school graduate and I got on with the government. And I had put in to do a training and my manager didn't like me. And she was a supervisor, but this is the manager that's over her. And she gave me the, the job. And so I was so excited that I got to, I was going to be able to teach uh, the new class. And she said, now mind you, this is almost um, about 15 years ago. And my friend who passed away of cancer, who used to be my, my first line supervisor at one point in time, she told me, she pulled me in her office and she said, you know, Carmelita, Sometimes people give you things uh, not to succeed to watch you fail. She says, and I'm telling you this because I like you and you're a hard worker. She says, so although you're only supposed to learn one part of, of the training, you go home and you learn the whole thing. She said, you learn your part and everybody else's part. Just in case somebody mess up, they won't put it on you and you can step in and just take over. So I took her advice and I did what she said and I stepped in and trust me, she was right. The other girls who was assigned to the training didn't study. They was too busy putting in for positions to get promoted. And uh, they wanted to put that on their, on their paperwork that they taught this class, but they didn't learn how to teach the people. So I took, wind up teaching the whole class and everybody um, went in and let them know that Carmelita, if it wasn't for Carmelita, the it would have been a, a fail. So I'm saying that to say this woman who passed was so inspirational to me and helped me to become the woman I am today to work hard. And she's gonna be dearly missed. And so they're having her funeral today. And I'm sad because I won't be able to go to her funeral. And the reason I'm not gonna be able to go to her funeral is because I have another friend uh, my best friend, in fact, who's also a cancer survivor and after 13 years, the cancer came back and they thought they got it all. We don't know if they got it all, but they have to, he has to have surgery today and I love him with all my heart. And if you're listening, I'm not going to say your name, but you know who you are. I love you, love you, love you to death. And we are best friends. We've been friends since I was 14 years old. He was my sister's friend, the one who has cancer first. She said I stole it from her. <laughs> but uh, we've been, I've stayed in his home when I uh, was going through uh, personal issues. It wasn't that I didn't have a home to live in. I was. I just couldn't be alone. I just needed to be with someone and he knew that and he opened his door and he's the type of person that tell you, can't no grown up live in my house. <laughs> but he let me stay uh, with him and he, 
prayed with me and we walked in the mornings, I would never ever forget it ever. I mean, he he's my he, he he's my heart. He's he's my best friend. And um, I love him. And so I won't be able to make it to Vail's funeral today because he has surgery at at 12 uh, today, 12 noon, and her funeral is at 11. Although everything is in the same city, it's in the, the Oakland area, Oakland, California area. I just, I can't be in two places at one time. And uh, I love Eve and my prayers go out to her, her children, her husband and her family. But I have to go and be with Ray uh, who, today. I didn't mean to say his name at all. He knows. He's okay with it, I'm sure. I love you. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up for now. I'm on the highway and I don't really like um, talking and being on the highway at the same time. I'm going to stay focused. I'm not going to let um, nothing stop me from being healthy today. I woke up, had my healthy breakfast. I had some leftover chicken, uh, fajita type. You know, it was only, it was less, it was like two ounces of fajita. And uh, so I took that and did me two little flat out wraps and a cup of coffee this morning to put something in my stomach. And I will, you know, I know I've been open all day, but I will be making healthy choices, trying to stay under my, in my low carb range, which I know I will, because I plan to succeed. Anyway, this is Carmelita Etheridge with 401 pound weight loss journey. I'm going to end this video now. It's getting kind of long and I'm out. Bye for now. Please like, share, and subscribe.